Hi guys, Everything Apple Pro here. This video will show you how to do one of two things. One, it will show you how to fix your 3GS new and old boot ROM and iPhone 3G with the updated 6.15.00 baseband that you may have bricked or put into a non-functional state that looks like this has a recovery screen logo or is just not booting it stuck in an endless boot loop while trying to update the baseband to the iPad 6.15.00 in order to unlock and this may have happened during using red snow or ultra snow but whatever the reason your iPhone is stuck in this mode and you cannot just restore it in iTunes and this video will show you how to fix that and restore it and get it updated on the 4.2.1 firmware as well as unlocked now another thing this video will show you how to do is take your iPhone that's also updated with the new baseband that's on 4.1 and it'll show you how to update it to an unlocked 4.2.1 firmware now you cannot just go into iTunes and click update because it will not work and this video will show you how to do both of those two things and I put it into the same video because it is very similar now you will of course lose all of your data so back it up and if you have an iPod touch or an iPhone 4 or an iPhone that's not even on the 6.15.00 baseband there should really be no reason you're watching this video the only reason you're watching this video is because you want to update your your new baseband iPhone to 4.2.1 or you need to fix it during the failed red snow jailbreak okay guys this is how it's gonna work and what you will need on both the 3GS and 3G you will need the 4.2.1 custom restore the 4.2.1 official firmware and Red Snow 0.9.6 beta 6 all links in the description guys be sure to read the whole thing it contains a load of information and it may contain data that I missed in this video that you will need now on the 3G the process is a little different than the 3GS because we're well basically in the beginning we're gonna be using red snow on both the 3GS and 3G to put it in a pwn state in order so we can restore it to the custom restore but on the 3G when you finish restoring you will already have Cydia and all you will need to do to unlock is install ultra snow now on the 3GS we will need to activate it and then jailbreak it using red snow the 3G gets automatically activated so the 3GS is gonna take a little bit longer but the great news is that you can get it up and running and jailbroken and unlocked so of course you will need iTunes and once you have all of the stuff on your desktop we can continue now make sure that your iPhone is plugged in and go ahead and right click on red snow and click run as administrator and make sure it's 0 0.9.6 beta 6 although if it's beta 5 it is fine but now we're going to browse for our 4.2.1 firmware make sure you don't select the custom restore and in just a second it's gonna patch the kernel and in the meantime go ahead and shut down your iPhone but on here deselect everything so deselect everything and only select just enter pwn DFU mode right now if you don't do this and put it straight into DFU mode iTunes will give you an error when you are trying to restore to the custom firmware so click next and make sure your iPhone is off and then we are going to be putting into DFU mode you can follow the instructions on red snow so three two one together ten nine eight seven six five four three two one let go of the power button keep holding the home button and I'd recommend holding the home button a little bit longer even after red snow recognizes it so we're not going through a long jailbreak all we're doing is putting it into a DFU mode and your iPhone will stay off that's perfectly fine so now go ahead and close red snow and open up iTunes and it will notice it in the pwn state so now we are holding shift on our keyboards or option and we're selecting the custom restore and you're holding option if you're on a Mac so we're selecting the 4.2.1 custom restore for our iPhone and it will begin restoring and now it will finish restoring without any errors I am already fully functional so I do not need to do this but 
once you're done restoring on the 3G, you will be you'll be fine. You have Cydia. All you have to do now is go into Cydia and install UltraSnow. Now on the 3GS, we have to continue. All right. So after your 3GS has finished restoring, it will look like this unless you have a legit SIM card to activate it. Now on the 3G, it activates automatically, but this is not the case on the 3GS. So what we will do is use the official firmware now that you downloaded and Red Snow to activate it and actually jailbreak it also because this does not come with a jailbreak. So make sure your iPhone's plugged in and go ahead and right click on Red Snow and run as administrator. Make sure you're using the version I put in my description, 0.9.6 beta 6. So here you will browse for the official 4.2.1 firmware and again we're going to patch the kernel real quick. And this time we are deselecting everything. Make sure the only thing selected is install Cydia and click next. Now we're going to shut it down. And again, DFU mode. So power button for 3, 2, 1, combine with the home button for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Let go of the power button and wait till Red Snow recognizes your iPhone. and now we are going through the entire jailbreak process so it does take a while uh, this should only be happening on your 3GS on your 3G again you have Cydia already so you do not need to do this but I'll be right back as soon as it's done and real quick I guess I can let you know a couple of tips if your red snow is crashing you can exit out of it and make sure to run it as administrator and you can go to properties and put it into compatibility with XP Service Pack 2. If that doesn't work, you can play around a bit. I heard Windows 98 slash me works and Vista Service Pack 2, but you can play around with it. It will eventually start working and hold the home button throughout the entire Red Snow process on your computer. When it's done on the computer, you can let go and that will help also. And another thing real quick, the reason I used my iPhone 3G for this was for demonstration. You will not be selecting 1.2 firmware. Yours will be 2.1 for the 3GS. Just thought I would let you know real quick so you won't get confused. Now when your iPhone 3GS is booting up after the Red Snow jailbreak process, if it is a new boot ROM 3GS, it will not boot up. It will stay at this Apple logo. That is because this is a tethered jailbreak. Now in some cases it does boot up, but if your iPhone 3GS is new boot ROM, it most likely will not. So what you'll have to do is keep the iPhone connected, open up Red Snow again, and browse for your 3GS 4.2.1 official firmware. And here you can check of course if you have the new and old boot ROM, but uh, this is just for demonstration real quick. You will go through the whole process just this process of patching and on the options you will deselect everything and click just boot tethered now and this will allow it to boot finally without the Apple logo and every time you turn that 3GS new boot ROM off you will have to go through this process or else it will not boot and your Cydia will crash so that's just a real quick thing you need to know. Now that your 3GS is finally booted up, you can go ahead and go into Cydia and install Ultra Snow 1.2 which is for baseband 6.15.00. And your iPhone 3GS and 3G will be on 4.2.1 unlocked. Finally guys, I really really hope this works for you. I've done a lot of studying, I've tried this, and it works for me, so leave a comment, don't forget to rate, and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Thanks for watching guys, and I really hope you get to fix your iPhone. Have fun.